Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Military Mondays. If you and I don't know each other, I would love to get to know you. Please put a comment below or reach out to me and connect with me in uh, Facebook Messenger. And if you're a veteran, thank you for your service. If you are a spouse like my husband is today, um, thank you for your service. And children, you know, you serve right alongside your parents also, so thank you. Today is all about service to community, state, and country. And the reason why I brought my husband on today is he didn't serve in the military in uniform like I did, but he served as a spouse and he served in uniform to serve our state in law enforcement. And his last day of work, well, I guess technically there's one more day at the end of November, but his last day of work was Friday. And so he has just retired from service to the state. So I wanted to bring him on and talk about what it's like to be a spouse of a military person and just in general service to community. So thanks for being on with me. He he wasn't real happy about getting in front of the camera this morning, but that's all right. You all need to know who's behind the scenes also. So Well, thank you, Brenda. I uh, I appreciate being able to uh, to be on your show and uh it's uh, it's been fun. Um not all the time, but uh, I have uh, have enjoyed uh, my service to uh, to my community and uh, in my state. Um, as far as being a spouse of a uh, military vet, uh, I uh, I I came into uh, Brenda's life when uh, she was almost finished with her career. I think she had five or six years left uh, to uh, get her uh, reserve pension and. Uh, so it's uh thankfully we we haven't been deployed we haven't done a lot of that stuff but uh she did sacrifice a lot to uh be working shifts and rotating shifts on a daily basis i don't know how she did that uh i know i've worked shifts but uh we did them on a monthly basis which uh still not great for your uh your body but uh it's better than rotating on a daily basis so i i really do appreciate the fact that uh she did what she did, and uh, great career uh, with the Air Force, and uh, I really do appreciate that. And I appreciate you and your service. I think that's one of the things that brought us together is um, we both have a heart for serving, and that's what we're doing today in our business. Now that he's retired, he gets to work with me full-time, helping businesses to grow their business and just retain what they currently have. So we've just taken our, uh, Mike has over 45 years and I have 27, so we have um, over 70, wow, over 70 years of experience in service to community, state, and federal government, and now to the business community. So I guess what I wanna ask is, what's it like even, like I was military, but you were service to the community and to the state. Why, why choose that? I know that it wasn't your first choice in career, but you stuck with it for so long and why? You know, I, I, I'm not really sure. I, I think uh, anytime you go into law enforcement, for most people, it's because you want to serve. You want to help people. And it's really, uh, that's what it's about, is trying to help people. And sometimes it's not seen as helping. Sometimes it's seen as uh, uh, the enforcement part of it, I guess, is, is what makes it difficult. Um, when you have to enforce the law, nobody's happy about it but it's about keeping your community safe. And I think as long as you understand that, you understand that uh, you're dealing with people. It's a, it's a people business like anything else. Um, when you're born, you come into a family. So it's you're, you're born into uh, relationships immediately. And I think that's what the key to everything is, is understanding that, that we're dealing with people, that people make mistakes, that uh, a lot of those mistakes aren't fatal. It's just something that we need to be able to work through, uh, see it as a stepping stone and not a failure, uh, and be able to change behavior and move forward into the future and become productive. And I think that's the key to uh, what we do. Uh, 
even now uh, serving the business community, it's uh, it's understanding that not everybody will understand exactly what we're trying to teach, but that's okay. Uh, at some point, uh, it will happen, and uh, it's just about trying to help where you can and understanding not everybody wants or needs your help. And with the holidays right around the corner, now is a great time to be reaching out and helping your fellow community, the, especially those in law enforcement, in any of the first responders, because this time of year it's hard, especially the military that are deployed and away from family. So now is the time to step up. Whether you've served or not, you can do your part. It, you know, I was at an event last week. And everybody can do one thing. And if everybody did just one thing, imagine the difference we could make in a community. And so I'm just asking you right now with the topic today being service to community, to reach out to those in need this holiday season. There are families that are struggling that are on food stamps. Maybe adopt a family and go help them have an amazing holiday season. If you celebrate Christmas, an amazing Christmas. If it's a family that's left behind with a military member deployed, invite them over for Thanksgiving or invite them over for Christmas dinner. It just, it helps to embrace and put our arms around the community and to help and show our support for those that are serving both locally and federally. So. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Did you have anything else you wanted to share, Mike? Uh, well, November is a National Gratitude Month, so uh, it really is about uh, being thankful for everything you have. Uh, I'm thankful for the career I had. Uh, I'm thankful for uh, way uh, things uh, have just turned out for me. Uh, but again, you know, it, we all uh, need to be grateful for. Uh, for the people that have served, for uh, our veterans uh, being deployed, and if and if they're out in another country, it, it really is about uh, staying in touch with them. And um, but uh, there's a, a greeting card that uh, I saw that says, uh, "May our lives be filled with thanks and giving." So it's it's all it's about both. Yep. Awesome. Well. I just want to reach out and say if you are a veteran and a business owner or a spouse and a business owner, please reach out to me because if you go back and watch past episodes at Military Mondays with an S dot info, so Military Mondays dot info, you'll see that I like to highlight veteran business owners and I would love to highlight you. There is also at that website, you can fill out the form and um, we'll have a brief uh, pre-interview and then maybe I'll feature you on one of these Military Mondays. But with that, I'm so grateful for my audience. This is episode 225. So you've stuck with me for 225 episodes. Mike's been by my side. So thank you for being here. If you do me a favor and like and share, add this um, to your community, we would greatly appreciate it and get the word out so that we can highlight more veteran business owners. So with that, have an amazing, thankful, remember it's all about giving thanks this holiday season and November being all about um, gratitude. So uh, again, you know, do something every single day in gratitude. So with that, have a great week and I will see you next Monday on Military Mondays. Bye everyone.